at the airport and go to the immigration counter and the guy receives my passport. He sees the valid visa issued by the French embassy in South Africa. On the opposite page is blank and he stamps it. Charles de Gaulle Airport, 16 September. Then he looks up and he sees my headgear and lights begin to flash in his head. <laughs> that this guy is a fundamentalist. <laughs> he is a terrorist. He is a fanatic. Yeah, this lights, this, this guy here, this uniform. So, now what to do? He doesn't look like the normal types of guys that come along. The Algerians, the Moroccans, clean-shaven, bareheaded. <laughs> Same thing happens here. JF Kennedy, JF Kennedy Airport. As soon as I arrived, same process. Passport, pa passport, visa is there, valid visa. So he stamps it and he looks up. Me, my son and my grandson, we all have a headgear. <coughs> so he wants to know, so what is this for? He's not trying to be funny. He wants to know what is this for? I said, no, this is my identity. I'm a Muslim. He said, what is a Muslim? No, no, Allah, he's not trying to be funny. You don't think the guy is trying to be funny? No, no. He's sincerely wanting to know what is a Muslim. I said, you know, we are 1,000 million Muslims in the world. We follow the religion of Islam. Sin doesn't know anything about that. An American officer of the American government, educated man, he knows nothing about Islam and about the Muslims. <coughs> This now attracts him. So what is this? Why, why you got this? Is this the this, this uniform of a terrorist or of a fanatic or a fundamentalist or what? What are you? What do you stand for? We know the Jews, they have some little caps at the back. <laughs> little, 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 little. But this thing here is something unusual. It's much bigger and it covers your whole head. Everybody's whole head is covered. <laughs> then something clicks and says, Muslims. You people don't need the pig. He said, no, no, we don't need the pig. <laughs> she said, why? Look, he's a busy man. But look, he's hungry, he wants to know. Why? I'm thinking tens of thousands of Pakistanis have went through him, he went through them. Tens of thousands of Iranians he's went through. And the Moroccans and the Algerians and the Saudis, all. But it didn't strike him at all. Why? Because all these tens of thousands that come into America, you have no identity. You have no identity. This guy, I'm getting into trouble because of my identity. It's a blessing. Well, this to me, it was also a blessing. What happened there? So, what I'm suggesting to my brothers, you know that we want to have a, a, a Islamic state. We want to have an established, you know, what do you want to establish here? Khila. Khila. I said, very good. I'm for it, my brothers. I'm for it. But these soldiers, you, my soldiers, I want you to identify yourself. I want you to identify that you're a Muslim. Damn it all. In the streets, I can't make you out. Who's who? I can't wish you salams. And my brother there, he looks like a Frenchman. <laughs> or he looks like an Italian. Or he looks like a Greek. Am I right? Or a Spanish. You pass for anything. <laughs> yes, you, 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 you. you. <laughs> no, no. Any, you pass for anything, you know. I said, look like a Greek. You look like an Italian. You look like anything. You can pass like a Jew. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing except the Jews also look like in a straight nose now. You know, no more those poly noses. You know, they're all mixed up with. <laughs> so then you, you can. The guy just right. He stamps here, passport, passport, passport. <laughs> You count for nothing. As soon as you have an identity, the person is interested in you. What do you stand for? Your uniform. This is your uniform. My uniform. In the, in the aeroplane from Chicago to here, the, the hostess is asking, what is this for, sir? Why you got this? So, no, we are Muslims. This is our identity. Look, they're asking us. Genuinely, they want to know. But you don't want to be recognized. And you want to establish us. <laughs> the khilafa. Khilafa. You my soldiers, you want to establish Khilafah. Huh? When you are terrified to own up that you are a Muslim and you want to have a Khilafah. <laughs> what are you talking about? Hypocrites. Hypocrites. Learn to identify yourself man. and opportunities. Wallah, is creating opportunities 
you 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 my brothers you want your wives and daughters and sisters to have the hijab huh yes everybody must have hijab and you you don't want to be identified even as a muslim nobody is telling you to have uh, 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 to moon and star you know tattooed on your forehead <laughs> nobody is telling you that but something simple man ordinary a most harmless thing and this identity gives you power it will give you power wallah everybody we are 800000 i'm told in new york muslims so they say you know if you only identify yourself you will appear like 8 million do you know that in the streets in manhattan in brooklyn wherever they see white cap white cap white cap say there's an invasion taking place how do, how does the american government allow these people to come in so many huh look at them look at them the afro american the iranian <laughs> saudi everybody pakistani everybody has got something on identity identity it terrifies the enemy and it boosts your morale we didn't know we are so many muslims here but no no you won't do it i you you fit it on your wives and daughters hijab hijab mashallah mashallah i'm for it my dear brothers i'm for it but uh, what are you ashamed of i want to know why are you ashamed to identify yourself you want your wives and daughters to get a bashing nobody is bashing them why are you afraid that you will be bashed somebody is going to hit you on the head for wearing this no identity so this french man he saw this identity and he saw this is something unusual all the moroccans come clean shaven and no hat all the tunisians come clean shaven and no hat all the algerians come there clean shaven no hat right they pass they pass they pass this guy is something unusual so he touched my name on the computer and he finds me there and it followed 3 <laughs> hours of interrogation he wrote my whole history they wrote my history and they kept me for 11 hours and pushed me back to london and all the trouble they gave me why why a nuclear power the land of liberty fraternity equality you know that the french revolution they boast about liberty fraternity equality that nation is terrified of this hat <laughs> yeah.